Hello everyone. In this next Power Automate tutorial video, I'm going to show you how to set up a simple content validation flow using the Cloudmersive Document Conversion Connector. Validating content type is a simple and easy layer of security to include within your system. It's a perfect flow to automate entirely, but in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up an instant flow to demonstrate the connector's capabilities more easily. Let's get started. From the Power Automate homepage, click Create and select Instant Cloud Flow on the following page. Then, give your flow a relevant name and select Manually Trigger a Flow. At the bottom, click Create to move on to the Flow Design page. For our first step, let's include a demo file to test this operation. Click New Step and type Get File Content into the Operation search bar. Select the action that pulls data from the application your file lives in. For me, that's SharePoint, so I'm selecting that option and quickly defining my site address right after. To find my file, I'm using the folder icon to navigate the folder path within SharePoint until I find it. For the next operation, it's time to include our Cloudmersive connector. Click New Step and type Cloudmersive into the search bar. Below, you'll see a list of Cloudmersive connectors with different colored logos. Select the Document Conversion connector with the green logo from this list. Then, in the Action search bar, type Auto Detect and select the option below that says Auto Detect Content Type and Validate. Around this stage, you'll be asked to include your Cloudmersive API key for API access. You can easily get a key for free by registering a free account on our website, cloudmersive.com. With that key, you'll receive a limit of 800 API calls per month. After that, when you're ready, it's time to define the connector action parameters. First, click on the input file bar and select the file content option from the dynamic content window. Then, directly below, include the file name by copying the file identifier from the previous step. Now we can move on to the final step in the flow. In this step, we're going to tell Power Automate what to do with the output content from the previous operation. There are several ways you can accomplish that. For this demonstration, I'm going to show you how to set up a basic condition. This condition will utilize the Outlook email connector to send you an email with error details only if the document is not valid. This is a little clunky for an instant cloud flow, but for an automated flow, it's a perfect way to receive automatic results for new files in a designated folder. First, click New Step and select Condition from the action list below. Then, click on Choose a Value and select Document is Valid from the Dynamic Content window. Set the condition equal to False. Next, move down to the If Yes branch of the condition. Click Add an Action and type Outlook Send an Email into the Operation search bar. Select the option to Send an Email with V2 next to it below. Now, you can begin customizing your email. Ensure the message is sent to you first. Then, give your email a relevant subject. For this email to be useful, the subject should reflect the fact that the document is invalid. Finally, on the message body, bring up the dynamic content window once again. From here, you can select as many of the below output results as you'd like and include them in your email. I recommend organizing your email similarly to the way I am to ensure the results stay in context. Once your email message is complete, you can ignore the if-no scenario. After all, we don't need a complex warning system if a file is found to be valid in the first place. Now we can save and begin testing the flow. Click Save at the bottom of the page, and then click Test in the upper right corner of the page. Select the option to trigger your flow manually, then click Test at the bottom, followed by Continue and Run Flow. If the flow ran smoothly, you'll see green check marks appear on each operation in the flow after a few seconds. If there were any obvious errors, you'll get a pretty immediate error warning letting you know exactly where the flow failed. If the document you tested is invalid, you'll shortly receive an email outlining the errors found within it. If it's valid, you should see the expression result true in the condition operation of the flow, meaning that there was no action to be taken based on the validity of the file. And that's it. Now you can easily convert this operation into an automated process for your business. Stay tuned for more Powered Automate tutorials in the near future.